What's happening guys, JD. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I posted a video uh, when we were going to Mesa uh, about racing the quad. So I just kind of want to give you an update about that. I'm sure some of you, if you pay attention to the channel, you're like, hey, what happened? Uh, we haven't heard anything about this quad racing thing you were talking about. So uh, long, as, long and short of it is this. I have some footage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tag it onto this right now. Um, I just figure I'd give you the rundown, play some of the video, and, and, and let it sit and put it out there. So, um, was able to go out there. Um, I was, I'm not going to lie to you. I was nervous. Um, so I just go out there, figure everybody's got to go out there the first time and do it. So I went out there for the first time to do it. So practice on Saturday. Um, they had four rounds of practice, um, about 10, 15 minutes a pop uh, in the rotation. So each class basically got 10 to 15 minutes to, to, to try. Um, went out for the first, second, and fourth. I think I missed the third. I think I was screwing around with the buggy. Missed the third. So, um, my God. Um, I don't think a harder workout I've ever had in my life, um, at least in recent years. I mean, I, the end of the night, when, you know, we went back to the hotel room. Uh, I was road hard and put away wet, and it really didn't feel that bad. I mean, I was tired. I was wore out, a little sore. Waking up the next morning, that's when it really hit me. So, um, um, issues as far as uh, being on the track, issues and whatnot. Um, so... I'm going to chalk one up. My dad always used to say, um, cause my dad was, uh, very into racehorses and, um, and owning racehorses and, 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 uh, working with them. And he used to say to me as a kid, when we went to the track, got to put a dollar, you know, there's basically you go to the racetrack, at least back in the day when I did, I haven't been, um, minimum bet was $2. And I asked my dad one day, how come you can't just bet a dollar? How come you got to bet two, you know? And my dad just looked at me and laughed and he said, and it's probably not the case, but he said, a dollar goes for the horse, a dollar goes for the jockey. Well, um, a lot's got to be said. That was my situation um, at, uh, at Mesa Motocross Park. So one lack of experience, being out of shape, um, that played into my side of it. The other side of it is, yes, the bike is, is bone stock. I uh, have a friend who has a dyno, dyno to bone stock bike, and even though they're claiming 45 horsepower, I believe, or something, somewhere around that area, it's basically got 33.8 at the wheels. So, um, as far as keeping up with anybody, with more experience, if I was able to push it harder, yeah, I could probably keep up. Um, but not being able to rely on the bike um, power wise. Um, inexperience, gear selection, stuff like that when you're on the track. I mean, at one point I went right from third and she skipped down to, she skipped second and went right from third to neutral trying to downshift. So, I mean, I had my, my hangups. Um, bike's bone stock. I don't know the bike. It's the first time on the bike. Um, I'm out of shape. I have zero technique. I mean, even my old, and I haven't really been on a dirt bike in a long, long time as far as on, you know, gotten on it and put it around and stuff like that. But as far as actually riding a bike hard, I don't even know if I had technique as a kid. You know what I mean? You, you, there was nobody teaching us. You just got on there and acted naturally. But as a kid, you didn't get sore. So it really didn't matter. And, and somehow was able to stay up on two wheels. But um, zero technique, uh, zero in, in endurance, um, bone stock bike, couldn't rely on the bike to power up. There's a couple stretches on the track where, I mean, one was coming down the front stretch, you come out of a left-hand turn, bike washes out, and then you got a long whoop section in front of you, and the hardest part was, uh, you know, trying to exit that turn and keep enough speed to go through the whoops, and at the end of the whoops was a double, and I wasn't even coming close. I couldn't build up enough speed to even clear the double, so I'm just basically landing on flat, flat land. Um, did learn a lot while I was out there, not to say I didn't. Um, I found some good lines, got faster as I went, um, just not fast enough. So I didn't race Sunday. So Sunday morning, uh, Saturday night we had a bad rain, 
Um, they were behind schedule grooming the track Sunday morning. So basically everybody got like a one lap site lap for a practice. And um, the quads and the buggies were back to back. So I had to choose quad or buggy. I said, well, if I'm going to go do this, let me go take my site lap on a quad. And I was sore. So, um, I mean, back sore, leg sore. Um, at some point, my thumb was sore from, you know, being on the gas. I'm not used to using a thumb throttle and that kind of predicament, you know, where you're, 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 you're wrestling the bike. Um, and uh, went out there for the sight lap and actually had what I felt was a pretty decent lap. Um, although I was sore, but the, the track was clean and groomed. You know what I mean? Everybody only had one lap on it, so there was no ruts in the track. So I felt pretty good, and then come around to that front stretch where, you know, the finish line, you know, uh, basically coming out of that left-hander, um, going through the whoop section, hitting that double, that's your finish line, then pull off the track. I come out of that turn, and about halfway through the whoop section, I got bad arm pump. Like, it was so bad, I could barely... I could barely hold myself up with my right arm. Um, and at that point, I was like, yeah, it's probably not a good idea for me to go push my luck right now. So um, what I've learned is a few things. Number one, I need a lot more seat time. Um, I took the bike out to Mace, or Dade City the, the next race. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't feeling well. Um, I had a bit of a cold or something going on, and I was zonked out. I was tired. I mean, in between... Every moment that I, I was able to have a moment to myself in the pits, I was basically sacked out asleep, uh, had a sore throat, um, slept all day in the pits, you know, for most of the day, it, it, you know, unless we were practicing. And, um, uh, and then at the hotel, you know, basically got right to sleep when we got there, had to wake up the next morning, be at the track. So, um, I would have loved to have been on the Dade track because the Dade track looked like it would have been really a lot of fun um, on the quad. Next race is Tampa. Now, I am I did take the quad to Dade. I just opted not to because I wasn't really feeling well. Um, in fact, if we weren't, I mean, I didn't want to race the buggy. I was feeling that crappy. So, um, I, I plan on the next race is at Tampa next week. I plan on taking a four-wheeler. I don't know what Tampa's like. I don't know the track. I've never been there before. Gonna take it just in case. If I'm feeling up to it, then I'm gonna go. I, I feel like I should at least show up with the quad and, and throw in the practice laps. Um, so if I feel good enough, then I'm gonna take a gate drop at, at Tampa. If I'm not comfortable with the track and I'm not comfortable with the way I'm feeling, um, then I will put it off for another race. I think the race after that is Spider. Safe to say, I'm probably not going to take the quad on Spider. Um, it's very hard packed, technical track. I don't know. Um, but the end of the season is lazy. I'm lazy's closer to me. Uh, it's about an hour away, hour south, 45 minutes south, depending on whether I'm leaving from the shop or my house or the traffic. Um, I'm thinking that. Hopefully there's enough time where I can make a couple of visits to Lazy and know the track and, and, and get some lap time in. So at the very least, my plan is to at least catch a gate drop at Lazy Springs and and we'll go from there. I'm not promising anything. I'm not, I, I don't like to talk about things before they happen till they happen, um, but that's it. So what's on my checklist is, hey, I need to start working out if I want to seriously consider this. I mean, it, really it's, it, it, I mean, all do re, all, all, all mad respect to guys on dirt bikes, and I know they're athletes. I watch Supercross and Motocross weekly. I uh, watch the guys on the track, and there is a ton of fitness and endurance um, training that's got to go into that. Um, probably one of the most underrated but uh, most athletic sports out there is riding a dirt bike. Riding a quad, I don't know if it's just heavier. And, and I'm probably fighting myself because of lack of technique and, and, and lack of being in shape. Um, but, I mean, the quad's got to be close to twice as much, you know, at least two-thirds, you know, over what a, a dirt bike is. Um, and you're just wrestling the whole thing. You know, you, you're, you've got your whole body into it. You're not just leaning. You're, you're literally, like, using muscles. And, and it's really hard for me to compare because I been so long since I was a kid the last time I was like riding any type of motocross on, on, on a track so um, now I'm just a, a big immature adult trying to play with these toys so 
that's the gist of it. I'm going to end this video now. I've got some footage, um, some really pathetic footage of me at Mesa MX. But um, I I'll, just, uh, I'll just let it go with that. But I uh, want to thank you guys again. Uh, if you need parts, go to Got Bug yeah. gotbuggies.com. Sorry. And uh, if, if you like what you see, you like the channel, subscribe. And, uh, you know, hit like, comment, whatever. Uh, any questions, feel free to ask. I do my best. All right, guys. Have a good one. JD's out.